Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to perform close reduction and K wire fixation for simple extra articular distal end radius fracture. A 35 year old male patient presented to the emergency room with a history of fall on an outstretched hand with trauma to his left wrist. The patient had swelling, tenderness, and crepitus over the wrist and he was in a lot of pain. An X ray was ordered and the diagnosis was confirmed. Here are the x-rays, the AP and lateral views and here we can see that there is a complete fracture line in the distal end radius and it's an extra articular, a simple undisplaced extra articular distal end radius fracture. Now I shall demonstrate the procedure of closed K-wire fixation for this complete extra articular distal end radius fracture. So after giving a supraclavicular block and a proper painting and draping of the of the wrist and hand i am asking my assistant to hold the hand uh, of the patient while giving traction while another assistant of mine is giving counter traction at the elbow level and i am trying to adjust the position of the patient now my assistant holds the hand of the patient as such uh, giving a read ulnar deviation as you can see in this uh, video so that I get some offset to put my wire. So I'm palpating the radial steroid. So this is the most important slide that one should understand that the, there are two landmarks the radial steroid and the moisture tubercle that is very important in order to perform close reduction of the distal radius. So I'm taking 1.8 mm K wire. So the first K wire that I'm going to put is uh, at the tip of the radial styloid. So I'm palpating the radial styloid, just enter distal to it and uh, my assistant is as you can see again giving some amount of ulnar deviation, uh, deviation so that I get the offset and this is the CM view of the starting point of my K-wire and uh, once it has been confirmed I'll start and uh, in small bursts I'll try to go across and uh, once the second cortex is achieved uh, I know that both the cortices has been pierced so I'll take the CM view here you can see the AP view the K wire has gone across the fracture site and the lateral view the K wire looks inside so we need two views in order to confirm our cushion of the K wire so once this has been done a second K wire I'm putting uh, along the, the first wire that I put so again I'll go through the radial styloid and I'll try to repeat the procedure and I'm just lifting the previously put K wire and uh, I'm trying to readjust the position of my drill so that I attach it at the distal side. So once the second cortex has been pierced here, so I'll take the AP view of the patient. So here you can see uh, two K wires uh, coming across the radial styloid and they are passing across the fracture site. So I'll take the lateral view here. Here's how I do a lateral view. And here you can see that in the lateral view as well, both the K wires are inside the radius. Now the third wire that I'm going to put is through the Lister tubercle. And uh, I'm trying to palpate the Lister tubercle. And uh, I'll try to place my K wire in. And I'll take the help of a C arm in order to confirm the starting point. So here, this looks a suitable entry point for my third K wire that will go from the dorsum into the volar surface of the radius across the fracture side. Now here I'm entering in small bursts and uh, again I'll check the trajectory of my K wire in the AP view. This looks fine and also I'll take another lateral view to confirm the trajectory of my wire. So here the trajectory looks okay. So I'll accept this trajectory and I'll move ahead. And here I'm progressing my wire. So it is a rule of thumb that uh, once you put K wires, the K wire should engage two cortices across the fracture site. That's the most important step. So once the second cortex has been achieved, I'm taking the AP view. Here you can see a nice reduction has been achieved. 
and uh, here again I am taking the lateral view and here again in the lateral view a uh, beautiful reduction has been achieved. After this the K-wires were bent and cut and dressing was done and an above elbow POP cast was given. So these are the post-op x-rays of the same patient you can see the AP and the lateral views and uh, a good K-wire fixation has a good K-wire fixation has been achieved across the fracture site. I'm intending to remove the K-wires at four weeks that will help us in achieving the union. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did kindly like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching.